Michael Bourne, he can bring the big hit, the RBIs, and the runs. Let's see what he gets done in our ball game next. With Crook and Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Hi, everybody. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. And a supportive bunch, and what a bunch it is. 50,000 for this one. Here's a look at Atlanta's starter. Steve, I'm wondering, what do you think of the strategy he's going to have going up against this Miami lineup? Well, no matter what role he's filling on the team, you have to love Chris Medlin. He's a guy that can command his fastball, and he takes something off on the velocity to try to get the hitter off balance. And he has good deception between his fastball, his curveball, and his changeup. Let's take a look now at Ozzie Guillen's thoughts, his lineup for this one. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, Carlos Lee, El Caballo, still a tough out for a pitcher. What I like about Carlos is that he will go the other way, take what the pitcher gives him in RBI situations. But when he gets an opportunity, if he's ahead in the count, he looks to turn on something and take it deep. It'll be Emilio Bonifacio leading us off. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. For his career, 253 off Atlanta. And strike two, Chris Medlin. Get him right where he wants him in the count. Now that he's ahead in the count here, Gary, I'm looking for him to go to the curveball and try to punch him out. Line drive fouled wow. off towards first. Here's the pitch. And another foul ball. When you're down on the count 0 and 2, you want to battle and fight any way you can to stay alive. He fouled off a tough pitch right there. You're up. And Emilio Bonifacio not looking for that one. That is strike three. Well, with two strikes on the hitter, he went with the heat. I tell you what, a fastball in the low 90s still very, very effective. Let's take a quick look at the Braves and how they line up on the field with their defense. And, uh, John, any scouting picks? Well, you look at the tool set of Jason Hayward. He has a fantastic arm. He covers a lot of ground with easy strides. Very deceiving how fast he is at getting to balls in the gap and down the line. And he will run into a wall to make a play. And the pitchers love that about him. Fastball in there, 0-1. Well, the Braves and Marlins had interesting seasons last year. The Braves got off to a great start and then faded late. And the month of June pretty much put the Marlins away as they struggled miserably. And strike two, Chris Medlin. He's got him right where he wants him in the count. And that June, you mentioned uh, for the Marlins, Steve, 5-23 and 23 on the year against the Braves. Braves a big factor in the downfall. Well, they were a sweep of the series in the month of June, really sending the Marlins reeling at a young team that couldn't recover. And for the Braves, they won 12 of the 18 games they played against each other. Fastball got him two down. Let's take another look at that pitch. It's a two-seam fastball in KK. Two straight fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with it. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. And here's Jose Reyes. Lifetime, he's one for six against Medlin. Strike Swings one. on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. And it's 0-2. Reyes is going to be swinging at anything close. Better to go after the fastball when a guy has quality secondary pitches. Even though it's down to the zone, you've got to swing at that. There's a ground ball. And Ugla picks it up. Oh. Throws to first side is retired. And a good defensive half inning. Three and doing the pitching, it'll be Nathan Eovaldi. For Miami, he'll be starting. And Steve, as he faces these Atlanta hitters, there is a swing and a liner. And the leadoff fans on board. You love the offense when it gets going that way. You got a moment to check out that lineup for the Braves. Scouting Big John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, there's not a lot of catchers in the game of baseball today that you can put in the middle of your lineup, and he's going to be your biggest run producer. But Brian McCann is just that guy. Hits for power, hits for high average. Just a special player to have on your team. And we've got a brief moment now to see how Miami will shape up defensively. Highlights, ground ball. 
He grabs it. Over to second for one. And two. They got both of them that time. And that one's got to be a candidate for play of the week, Steve. Well, you talk about shifting momentum. You get the ground ball double play, and all of a sudden you're back in the dugout ready to hit. Jason Hayward now at the plate. A career 268 hitter against the Marlins. Here's a swing and a fly ball. And it's going to be Ruggiano. That'll do it as they put that one away. Well, that's one way to keep your pitch count down. They wrap that inning up with three pitches. And in the batter's box at Stanton. Big swing there, but he can't connect, and it's a strike. Well, just because he's a fastball hitter doesn't mean you can't throw him a fastball. Strength on strength right there, and the pitcher came out ahead. And strike two, Chris Medlin. He's got him right where he wants him in the count. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. Well, K-Cam's going to show us the four-seam fastball here. You've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not. And Carlos Lee up. It's always fun watching Carlos Lee, El Caballo, play the game. He had a rough 2010. Bounce back to the numbers we're more accustomed to seeing from him in 2011. Here's the delivery. And there's a grounder to Jones. That's two gone. All right, let's watch as Morrison comes to the plate. A look at the numbers in this matchup. 2.07 off the Braves. Off speed pitches in there for a called strike. strike and strike two, Chris Medlin. Get him right where he wants him in the count. Change up. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. Well, that pitch right there, that change up away. If a guy's looking for it, that's a great pitch to be able to hit the other way with some power. Fouled away by Morrison. Oh! There's wow. a swing, and that one's hit on the ground. Well, a one and two count that pitch on the outside part of the plate. Borderline pitch, you still don't know if it's going to be a ball or a strike. The last thing you want to do is take that pitch for a called strike three. Well, he was able to ring up that K, and he needed it, and it got him out of the inning. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left. Leading it off, Chipper Jones. He swings and drives this one. And it's going to be Ruggiano. And he grabs it in his tracks. Good pitch right there. Got the hitter a little bit out on his front foot. Easy fly ball to center field. And Freeman will come to the plate. Well, you know, the Braves want to forget what happened. And that swung on and hit. There's Morrison. And Reyes makes the catch. Two retired here. In regards to that Atlanta collapse, and they're going to have to hear this throughout baseball history, the Braves were 10 and a half up on the Cardinals August 26, and it all disappeared, Steve. You know, that September record, they went 10 and 20, including five losses to end the regular season. If they had just won one of those games, they would have gone to the playoffs. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right, and it's going to be Stanton. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Nobody left on base. Number seven man at the plate. He'll start things off here in the third inning. On the way. Ball. Plays off that one outside. 1-0. Trying to get the ground ball out. You throw that two-seam fastball away from the hitter. Trying to get him to reach and roll over it. He laid off of it here. 1-0 delivery is a fastball in there. 1-1. Pitcher really rearing back and throwing. He's got everything working now, commanding the strike zone with that fastball. Ball. Fastball gets away from him there, two and one. Strike. 
Can't catch up with that fastball. He's evened it up 2-2. Two two on the way. There's a swing and a ground ball. And his throw is in time for out number one. A nice play at third. He comes up throwing quick release, just getting the run. It's gonna be Boone. Well, if you want to compete in your division, you have to beat teams in your division. And that's what the Marlins didn't do in 2011. A big part of their struggles, not able to beat NL East opponents. And McCann calls for the pitch. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 21. Marlins have uh, not won a division title. They have won two World Series titles in a short time. That's got to be uh, some frustration, John, to fix. A high pop-up. So Boone is set down. Out number two. And we've got Ivaldi here. These at-bats, how's he starting them? Let's take a look. Talk about the importance of first pitch strikes. Well, this shows you here he's retired six hitters in this game after he's throwing a first pitch strike. 1-0 count. He took that last one, and it was out of the zone. Here's the pitch. Out in front, and it's 1-1. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Can't make contact on that fastball. 1-2. and two. The 1-2 one, on its way. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. And it's Dan Ugla to lead it off. Swing and a rocket toward short. And that puts Ugla on first. Well, a nice piece of hitting right there. You get on base to start the inning with no outs. And you know, all it does is you want to just keep the line moving if you're the guys behind him. Simmons in the box. Fouled off. Oh. Missed badly with a the fastball there. One and one. Well, any hitting coach will tell you, you can't hit that good high fastball, especially if it's out of the strike zone. It's a pitch you have to lay off of, make him bring it down to give yourself a chance. Fastball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 count. Swing and a miss on the breaker, one down. Now get up in a range now right here with uh, decent velocity on that breaking ball and pretty good movement. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out, John. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And he lays one down here. Boom. Oh. On to first, two away. Now, listen, pitchers don't hit the ball as well as position players do, but you can still impact the game with productive outs. Good punt. And boy, will he be happy if that comes around to score. That's going to make the manager very happy right there. There's Michael Bourne batting with two down. He had a single in his last time up. First pitch he left to go by, and it uh, was a ball, 1-0. Slider just misses the black, falls behind 2-0. Hit foul by Bourne. And Bourne, another foul ball. Fastball well off the mark, and it's full three and two. Wide fastball right there. Just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. And it's going to be Ruggiano. That one's grabbed. Side retired. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. And we've got Bonifacio batting. And the fourth inning underway, it is an 0-1 count. Now, Gary, they're going through the lineup the second time around right here. They don't have any hits, so they've really got to start thinking about what are they doing at the plate and should they be more aggressive right now? Oh. 
Swings and grounds foul. this one to the right side. Foul. He delivers. And Emilio Bonifacio not looking for that one. That is strike three. The 82-mile-per-hour pitch coming in flat right there. Well, he pulls the string again. I mean, that's two straight strikeouts on the changeup. That sequence of pitches is amazing. It's going to be Ruggiano. Struck out swinging his last time up. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Just missed with the fastball. 1-0. Well, it's uh, truly been a tremendous day on the mound for this man. Here's a breakdown of how he's been mixing up his locations, using that to his advantage. Well, he's had a great Strike rhythm one. going in this game today. He's not afraid to move the ball around and pitch aggressively in the zone. And a good pitch selections, I think, too, Steve. He's definitely got a recipe with a combined and effective approach. And here's a called strike at the letters, and it's one and two. One two pitch coming. That's swung on and hit. Prado's going to play it. They take care of that one. But Gary, he just continues to mow this lineup down. We're talking about 11 hitters in a row retired. So Jose Reyes will try and keep it going. For his career, 299 off Atlanta. Line towards third and foul. And it's 0 and 2. Reyes is going to be swinging at anything close. Mixing your pitch types, key to performance like the one we're seeing today on the mound. Here's a look at what he's been doing. Well, he's You're done out. exactly that. He's changed speeds, he's mixed up all his pitches, and the great thing is he's throwing them all for strikes. It's unpredictability. The hitters can't think along with him. They don't know what he's going to throw next. Four, and he is dealing. Well, he's done everything you want out of a starting pitcher. He set the tone early and keeps it going now. Both teams still towards the middle. That'll bring up Jason Hayward. Well, that's the start they wanted right there. You get the first guy on with the inning. No outs. Big things could happen now. Last time up, flew out. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. Swing and a chopper to the second baseman. That's one. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. He makes a nice play to get the lead runner at second base with a strong, accurate throw. Good footwork. They just couldn't get the double play. Hit in the air to center field. That's the second out of the inning. And Freeman will come to the plate. Hayward's on first. Swings at that first delivery. Curveball by him on one. He deals. And the pitch out. Nothing doing that time. The pitch. Slider misses. And it's two and one. He tried to backdoor that pitch, but left it out and away. Two one pitch. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Well, this is your dream when you're in the on-deck circle before you go into the batter's box. If you can get the count to three and one and in your favor, you know you have the upper hand. That should be a base hit. Atlanta, what a shot they've got here. Well, not many pitchers can get away with throwing fastballs right down the middle, and this pitcher falls into that category. He's got to hit corners. When he hits the center of the plate with that fastball, he's going to get a hit. A couple guys on right now, Gary, with speed at second base. We'll see if they try to put pressure on him and try to start both runners. If they throw him out at third, they'll still have a man in scoring position. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. And it's up against the wall. Haywood scores. And another run comes through. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Take a moment to check out how much that two-bagger helps their cause. Here's the win expectancy graph. Runner at second base. Now here's Dan Ugla. Getting hit in the air to left center. This one to Morrison. 
and he's there to retire the side. Three innings to nothing, and now here in the fourth, the runs. The Braves are out in front, two to nothing. And in the batter's box at Stanton. Well, when you put a game together like we've seen here from this pitcher, it only comes with throwing a lot of quality strikes. Here's how he's getting it done. Well, just impressed with this young man, the way he's just hit the lower part of that strike zone. When you can keep the ball down, you have a recipe for success. Boy, he's so accurate on that corner as well. And I tell you, that ability to repeat his delivery and get that release point where he wants it. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That's a changeup. Down on strikes one up. The 82-mile-per-hour pitch coming in flat right there. I just don't think you can make it any easier than that. Three pitches, up, down, see you later. He's already back at the bench. And Carlos Lee to bat. He is 0 for 1 off Medlin. And that one hit well. Bourne's there. And he puts that one away for number two. All right, let's watch as Morrison comes to the plate. Definitely a significant part of the offense for Ozzie Guillen's team. First pitch on the way. It's now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. You know, I know we're not supposed to say anything about no hitters, so I would never <laughs> say anything about that, Gary. But don't worry. You know, I don't think they have any hits here, and we're you know moving through the middle part of the ball game. Strike two. And strike two, Chris Medlin, getting right where he wants him in the count. Well, against this guy in this situation, Gary, you've got to go with the changeup. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but it's one and two. Well, Gary, he's a very aggressive hitter on a one-two count. He's going to swing at that borderline pitch, so I'm going to try to expand the strike zone right here. Changeup swung on and missed. That will retire the side. Well, you don't want to say anything too early, but through five, folks, there ain't anything up there. And you know, second time through the lineup, they're not making any adjustments. You wonder if he... Simmons in the batter's box. The confidence all over Ivaldi as he's out there on the mound. That one swung on its line. And Reyes makes the catch. We've got Medlin in the box. Last time through, he had a sacrifice bunt. This one's grounded to second. Number 17. Throw to first. Gets him in there at two down. And Bourne's in the box. One for two in the ballgame. First pitch on the way. Swung on and hit. Stanton there. And there's the third out. Amazingly fast. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Ball! Lays off that one up and away for ball one. The gears, we move through the middle part of this ball game right now. They just cannot mount any offense at all. No hits. And I'll tell you what, this pitcher is just shutting them down. Swing and a miss on that curveball. And he's even at one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swung on. Bounced weakly to second. And that's in plenty of time for the out. I'll tell you something, Steve. He keeps pitching like this. The murmurs are going to start. Well, you can hear the chatter in the stands right now. People starting to recognize a lot of zeros up on that scoreboard. It's going to be Boone. He popped out his last time. Let's that breaking ball go outside for ball one. They went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. And he looks at a fastball in there, one and one. And McCann's calling for the pitch. Good looking fastball. Called the ball though, two and one. Two one on the way. Strike two. Fastball called strike two. Well, purpose pitch right there. He gets the strike on. It goes up and in, and it opens up the entire strike zone now. On the way. Taps this oh. one foul to the right. You're 
change up that time. Swings and misses. That'll be strike three and two down. Boy, it doesn't take long to count the amount of hitters he's been able to get out so far. He's just marching along here with lots of zeros. Well, the key right now, he's got to maintain his focus. Winning the game is the primary goal right now. And we've got Ivaldi here. Struck out swinging last time. Line drive. That's foul towards first. And here's the pitch. Mm -mm. Helped him out there. 0 and 2. You're Strike out. three. Second trip through the order now, and nobody's been able to find a way to get one where they ain't. Leadoff hitter Martin Prado. Let's take a look at how this pitcher has been utilizing his arsenal of pitches. Yeah, and a couple times he's... He swings down and really hit that. And it's going to be Reggiano as he hauls it in. Now batting with one away. Here's Jason Hayward. With the shoulder injuries of last season and the thumb trouble in his rookie year, the only thing seems to be stopping Jason Hayward. There's a swing and a ball hit deep into right field. Still going. Goodbye, home run. And another solo home run, extending the lead now to three. They need to be careful right here, Gary. Braves just continue to score. What a great job. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Steve, a big fly like that at this point in the ball game. You, you start thinking, you know something? We're gonna... Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's going to be Stanton. Roams over, puts it away. And Freeman will come to the plate. Single and scored his last time around. The first pitch. Ball. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Oh. Here's a swing, a fly ball deep down the line and right. And there's Stanton for out number three. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. The Braves ahead by a few. And we've got Bonifacio batting. Looking to do a little better this time. He got called out on strikes against Medlin. A called third strike last time on the changeup. And it looked like he just gave up on it. You know, he thought fastball. And when it wasn't a fastball, he just watched it go by. It's taken by Bonifacio, and it's inside. No runs, no hits. Deep, deep into this ballgame, Gary. And obviously, he is pitching a gem of a game. Strike two. He watches the 1-1 pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. Well, that's a hittable pitch right there, Gary. A fastball in the inner part of the plate. But if you're looking out over the plate, sometimes it freezes you. And Emilio Bonifacio looks at that one for a ball. That will leave it up the count. Here's the pitch. Hit in the dirt. And Ugla picks it up. One away. Oh, Gary, he looks like he's in complete control, but all it takes is one big at bat. And if you get a big base hit, next thing you know, things can start to snowball, so he's got to keep his focus out there. It's going to be Ruggiano. He flew out his last time up. Oh, Fastball in there for a called strike. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Out. And he throws to first in time, out number two. Well, he has great stuff, there's no question about that. And every time he takes them out, he's got a shot at something like this special happening. This may be the day that it comes to fruition. And Jose Reyes up. There's a swing and a line drive. And that's going to do it in this half inning. Well, yeah. And for those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne, along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips, bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And it's Brian McCann. He'll start the home half of the seventh. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it, or he's got no chance to hit it. Brian McCann isn't fooled by that one. The count is even.
And this is hit in the air. Foul down the left field line. And look for a moment like he had a chance to make that play, but not to be. Swings, hits this one in the air, down the right field line. And it's going to be Stanton. And he gets to it and puts it away. Now he covers a lot of ground out there, able to range to his left and pull this one in near the line. And it's Dan Ugla in the box now. Flew out last time. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. This one to Morrison. As he rolls over and puts it away. Simmons is up now, lined out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch. Oh! And it's fouled away. The pitch. And that's another oh! foul ball. Fastball swung out and missed, and the side's retired. No runs, no hits, no one left on. And it'll be the Marlins coming right up. And in the batter's box at Stanton. So far, he's come up empty, striking out twice against Medlin. Well, you got to believe that the changeup will show up in this at bat as well. He got the strikeout on it the last time up. You got to believe he's going to see it again here. And the 1 0 count getting us going here in the eighth. Well, I don't know about you, Gary, but. Uh... When I look up the board under that H column, the hits column, I see a big goose egg there. So clearly, we're getting into exciting territory right now. Good spot for the changeup that time, one and two. Well, you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground. Bad timing. You're out. Struck him out, and the countdown continues. Hold your hand up, folks. That's five outs away from this piece of history. Well, if the next five outs come as easily as that one did, he will get this perfect game. He is just dazzling them with his outstanding stuff. And Carlos Lee up. 0 for 2 oh. thus far. It's fouled off. Oh. And Carlos Lee watches that one go by. That'll even it up. When you see a pitching performance like we've seen from the man on the mound today, there have to be a lot of things going right, and they have been. Here's a break, and there's a grounder to Jones. Two men have been put away. Listen, whether or not he finishes this thing out, it's been an extraordinary pitching performance. It's something for him to be proud of. I know he wants to get there, but either way, what an effort. All right, let's watch as Morrison comes to the plate. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Took something off, and it swung on and missed, 0-1. Well, this is exactly the situation where he's going to pull the curveball out. This guy really struggles with it when he's behind. And here's the delivery. Oh, and, two. and strike two, Chris Medlin. Get him right where he wants him in the count. He gets two quick strikes on the hitter, but he can't be too selective now. He's got to go right at him. Curveball, thought he had him, but it's one and two. Well, looking at this guy's pitch count, he's up over 80 pitches thus far. You wonder how long they're going to let him go. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And Ugla picks it up. Oh. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Now he's about to come out in the most intense situation. We've got Medlin in the box. He'll start things off. Bottom half, eighth inning. Swing and an easy ground ball to short. And Reyes picks it up. He's out. And he throws on to first for the out. Put away. And Bourne's in the box. And taking a look here, the pitch types that he's thrown today that have yielded hits. We're looking at this guy's slider. He makes contact, line drive. And that's going to be a base hit for Bourne. Well, you talk about making a beeline for the back, Steve. That's what he does here, and he does it with his head. Well, that's a good piece of hitting. This guy's a dirt player. He's willing to go in head first and give everything he has and just beats the throw. Well, here it is. Here's Martin Prado. A chance here to get something done for Atlanta. This one to Morrison. 
And he meanders over to Bourne going towards third. Now let's see if he can get it done. Here's Jason Haywood. Pressure here on the mound. And with two down and a big RBI producer at the plate, here you're not going to give him the chance to bring those runs in. Well, two outs, first base open. This is good strategy. Don't play with fire. Right now, Chipper Jones. This is a great opportunity here with a hit. And the uh, first pitch was a strike. Got about 0-1 right now. I fooled them right there. That two-seam fastball has to be down to the zone to be effective. But it looked like he was looking for a different pitch. I know he didn't want to do that. That's going to load things up now. And Freeman will come to the plate. He sends this one in the air towards center. And it's going to be Reggiano. There's Morrison, and there's the third out. So they pick up one hit. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. And Dobbs settles in. He'll start us out here in the last inning of regulation. It is a strike to start the ninth on one. Uh, Gary, in the ninth inning, has not given up a hit in this one, so we may be looking at some history for him personally and for his club. Plays off the changeup. Good pitch, but it's one and one. Boy, I'll tell you what. Th th this guy's changeup may be one of the best in the game, Gary. I mean, just so deceptive to the hitter. Hit in the air to left center. This one to Prado. As he gets to it for the out. One out here in the ninth inning, and perfection is within reach. He is so close to it. He can taste it right now, but you know the players behind him feeling the pressure. They need to make the play to get the perfect game. It's going to be Boone. Struck out swinging his last time up. 0-1 count as that started off with a strike. Here's the pitch. Line drive fouled off towards first. Freeman recording the out. Well, not hard to understand this one, Gary. You're going to bring in the pinch hitter for the pitcher. Hopefully a guy can come up with a big hit. Strike Takes one. that first pitch low in the strike zone. Strike one. The hitter saw fastball. The pitcher threw change up. Not a good combination for the hitter. And strike two. Chris Medlin. Get him right where he wants him in the count. Swing and a miss, and there it is. A perfect game. What a performance. Gary, I don't think there's a better feeling in sports than mastering your craft. He was absolutely unhittable all game long. Now he's going to go down with the other legends of the game for his accomplishments today. And Steve, they say it takes a little luck, but when you get a game like that, you'll take it. Well, it takes luck and talent. Boy, does he have the talent. But it went a great one here today, Gary, and it's all because of the pitching. Outstanding pitching really leading them to victory come to that point where we take a look back and say who made a difference is our player of the game fantastic pitching from Chris Medlin well you know they don't call it a perfect game for nothing this is something that this young man will remember for the rest of his life and everyone who's here has to have a feeling that they just witnessed some sort of history and I know never playing in one in my career a perfect game I'm thankful I got to see this one and we witnessed a pitcher who has put himself in the record book, an incredible, perfect game. I mean, you see history made here with this kind of performance from this guy, an outstanding effort, and they get the win as a team as well to move forward. Great day for baseball here at 2K Sports. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our great 2K Sports crew. We wish you a great rest of the day or night, wherever you may be in baseball. Though.